what I learned early on was that if I asked for it or if I tried it, um, it, it was it was remarkable of what the response was. So, you know, when I was uh, really young, I, I wanted to be uh, I loved music and I wanted to be a uh, a VJ, which you know what that is? Do you remember like much? Yeah. Do you remember MTV? For sure. Mm-hmm. And I was, and I was like obsessed with like the Carson Dailies of the world, or like downtown Julie Brown, like those kind of people. And I wanted this job so badly. And I was like, I, they were having an open. I'm Canadian, so our version of MTV is called Much Music. And they were having an open casting call for like the new VJ. This was like the big thing, right? And I was like, I want this job. This is what I want to do. And I said to my friend, and at the time, Keanu Reeves was like at the height of, by the way, he's still at the height of his career. His new movie just comes out like in a week, but like, but he just finished Speed, I remember. And he was like the biggest movie star in the world. And he was coming to my hometown to do some Shakespeare play for, to like practice something for a a movie role. And I told my family and my friends that I'm going to get Keanu Reeves to be on my demo tape so I can get this audition for this big job, right? And everyone laughed at me. They're like, come on, like you're this like 17 or I was like 17 and a half or 18 year old kid, like from this small town, how are you expecting to do this? Like, don't be ridiculous. And everyone laughed at me and I thought I was so ridiculous. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. And I lived in a place that was minus 40. Like it was so cold. It was like, I, I grew up in a place era that was, it's probably one of the coldest places on the planet. It's called Winnipeg, Manitoba. And um, I stood outside for 45 minutes in minus 40, waiting for Keanu Reeves to come out of the back door. And I bribed a girlfriend of mine to come with me. She lasted seven and a half minutes since she went home, but I still stayed there. And at the time, there was no such thing as social media, but you had like all the like normal gossip rags, like Entertainment Tonight and all those magazines waiting to get like a glimpse of him, right? And I kind of was super deliberate and I marched. I saw him after 45 minutes come out of the back door and I wiggled my way through all those people and I was super deliberate. And I went up to him and I said, I, my name is Jennifer and I really need your help to help me with this like demo tape for this dream job I have. And he thought I was like, he didn't understand a word I was saying. He was so confused. And all these girls were like pulling at him and like all the cameras and all that stuff. And he was looking at me and I repeated myself a couple times and he's like, do you want an autograph? I'm like, no, I don't want an autograph. That's not going to help. And so, you know, he's like, give me your phone number and I'll call you. I don't understand. And I had no pen, no paper. So some girl beside me, she gave me um, a gum wrapper. That I, well, actually, I had the gum wrapper. She had an eyeliner or a lip liner. And I wrote my number on this piece of gum wrapper and I gave it to him. And I left. I went to school the next day. It was like, you know, I was in, I was in school and I told all my friends and my family and they're all laughing at me. And they all thought I was crazy. And then this happened, one day went by, two, three, four days went by. And then on the fourth day, actually, I came home and my mom asked, said to me, did you listen? At the time we had an answering machine. She's like, did you listen to your answering machine? And I was like, no, why would I do that? I was at school. And I listened to the machine and there there he was. Wow. Keanu Reeves was like calling me to tell, but basically like, hi, Jennifer, this is, I met you a few nights ago, blah, a few days ago, blah, 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 cut to, Cut to Sarah. I picked him up in my mom's car. I was like very young. I took him back to my house. I had all my friends who didn't even believe in me be at my house with all the little camcorders. And I did a three hour interview with Keanu Reeves wow. that, I, that I then edited down and I sent in to Much Music. And so to me, that was a very pivotal moment in my life, which was, you know, it's boldness. That's the secret sauce to, to success. It's not how smart you are. It's not how beautiful you are. It's not how talented you are. It's about you having the audacity, to, like the audacity to believe, why not me? Why can't that happen to me? 